All right, guys, in this video, I am going to be showing you how to uh, build a kitchen and kind of my process I'm going to go through with that in my specific space that I've been building with you guys. So I'm going to do, this is my living area right here, um, and I'm going to have this area as my kitchen right here next to my laundry room, and then this area is my living room. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm thinking I'm going to build a U-shaped kitchen using these three walls with an island in the middle. So to do that, I am going to get into an angle where I can see, and I am going to start with my upper cabinets or my lower cabinets. We'll see what um, I'm feeling. So I'm going to go to my decor or my item, and I'm going to go to kitchen, and I'm going to go to kitchen cabinets. Now I'm going to find, I have cabinets that I like, um, that I've used multiple times before, and I'm just going to kind of go and find those. And it is these ones, so I just specifically like these cabinets. Um, so I'm going to start placing these. Now I think I'm going to have. I don't know if I keep it. If I'm going to keep this or not, I will decide as I go. But no, I need a corner cabinet because I'm going to go with a U shape. So to be able to do that, unless I want to go one wall, which I mean I could, but it would be really tight. So I don't really want to do that. I need a corner shaped cabinet to be able to pull this off. So let me find, I can make this one work, maybe. Yes, okay, we're gonna use these ones. Again, you can change colors and change um, textures and everything like that as you are designing. So don't be afraid to pick something that you wouldn't necessarily like. And yeah, I don't like that one. We're going to do this one instead. There we go. Okay. And I am going to just kind of build my kitchen this way. I'm going to put my sink right there. Okay. Now let's pick my colors here. I'm going to change this to... I really like dark wood cabinets personally, but I also have a lot of dark wood in this space, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I might do like a light wood just because, I don't know. Maybe I'll do white cabinets and like a bold, a bold um, backsplash, but I don't know how I'm feeling about this yet. So I like the dark cabinets, but I also have this really, really dark floor. So I just, I'm not sure. Let's do white cabinets for right now, just so I can kind of get an idea of what I want. So I'm going to go and make these the blank wallpaper, because that's I feel like is the cleanest white. And then I'm going to change my countertops to what I want. I personally like marble, but maybe we'll do like a black marble, so that with it being... Um, I could have fun with this green one with it being white. What I don't like white on white personally, so maybe I'd do like a colored granite. I could see myself doing that. Hmm. I'm just thinking of this. Blue is crazy. Ooh, this green, this green limestone is kind of cool. You know what, let's go with that for a minute. I'm gonna play around with that and see if I can design around this green, because that's really kind of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and I'm going to keep adding in my cabinets. Um, that will fit this same style so you don't have to resize anything, right? Make sure that's stuck for a second. I do also want to I'm going to need another corner cabinet over here, and I'm going to have to flip that to work, so I'm just going to use my flipping tool, and I'm going to change the wood to wallpaper white, and my stone, I guess I could have duplicated the other one, I could have just done that, but that's okay. So, I'm going to do that, and then let's get... And then let's see if there is a um, if there is a really small cabinet that would fit, or if I need to shrink that down. So 
this is a little smaller one. I don't know if this will fit exactly. It looks like it needs to be shrunken down a little bit, as you can see. So, let's change that to the wallpaper white and the stone to be green. You can tell that it's uneven because. Okay, I do have a class right now, so excuse the chatter that is happening um, in the background. But, okay, so I have kind of my layout going. Now, I personally like a backsplash, but I like it to go up the entire wall. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to just change the entire wall. So I'm going to go to the indoor, and I'm going to go to my tiling, and I'm going to pick a tile that I think would look cool. Um, I could do diamond. I feel like that matches my vibe that I'm going off in this space. Um, I don't want it to be too busy, but I do like bold. I'm kind of going, my entire space is going to be very bold. So I could do green, because I have that green. So I think that's too much green. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do those diamonds again. And maybe I'll do like a bigger diamond. We'll do that for right now. Well, that's with if that stays, I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Okay, so now I'm going to do my hanging cabinet. Okay, and so then I'm going to go through and I'm going to add my appliances. And now at this point, I want my stove and my refrigerator probably over here. Um, and so I'm going to go to my appliances, household appliances or kitchen appliances, refrigerators, and I'm going to find the fridge I want. Ooh, a gold one could be cool with this space. I don't know though. We'll see. I'm just kind of going like really bold and like lots of personality. Um, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I feel like it looks more pink than gold and I don't think I'm a fan. Okay, so let's just not do that. <laughs> let's um, do, hmm, what fridge do I like? This one? Maybe? That looks like a decent sized fridge. I'm going to change the angle to 90. Flip it. Reverse. Okay, so then I have my fridge here. Now, and then I'm going to add more cabinets. I feel like these are a little darker than the other ones, which are kind of strange, right? Can you see how that's a little bit like off color than the normal white? That's odd. Um, okay. So then I'm going to add um, more cabinets over on this side. I just need to... Okay. So I'm adding in my cabinets over here to kind of finish off the space. And then I would do the same thing. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want... I think I want my stove over on this side. Yeah, that would be good. So I'm going to go to kitchen appliances and go to my stoves. Okay, and I want a fancy stove, a big old fancy stove. Ooh, this one. Yes. Big old gas stove. And then to finish it off, I'm going to take the skinny cabinet, duplicate. Turn it to 90 and have it over here. Okay, so now I have the kind of like the layout of my kitchen good. I've got my sink, my stove, my refrigerator. I do think I want to change the color of my, um, I'm not sure yet, but I do want my backsplash to match um, this side of the wall and this side of the wall. Now, as you can see here, this wall right here is already um, cut in half because of the laundry room. So I'm going to add that to be my tile as well. Um, so I'm gonna go to my tiling and I'm gonna do what I did with the last one. And I'm gonna have my tile go to that point. Now I do wanna make sure that that is fully extends to the end of the tile, if that makes sense. Just I feel like it needs to look finished, you know? And I do think for functional purposes, my cabinet door needs to open the other direction. Okay. 
So there's that, and then I'm going to come over and I want the tile to come over here as well. But as you can see, this is my entire wall. It goes, because you can see the green, it goes all the way to the front door. So I need to split this wall to end right where these cabinets are. So I'm going to do that, but I need to go to 2D to do that. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to take this wall, and I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to click the split option, and I'm going to bring the wall. As you can see, the green dot is where one wall ends. So now that one wall is its own wall. I'm going to come over here back to 3D, and I'm going to change that one wall to the tile so that I have my backsplash all throughout my whole kitchen, okay? So there's that, okay. So as you can see, I've got my backsplash, and it is, looks really busy right now, but I am gonna add upper cabinets, which will help kind of balance that out a little bit. And then I did decide I wanted to put an island in here as well. Um, I feel like the stove, the appliances, I want them to be stainless steel. So I'm going to try and alter that, but we'll see. Um, for right now, I can figure that out later. Um, so let's go into back into cabinets my kitchen cabinets, and I'm going to look for an island. Um, I do think that there's an island in here that I like, if I remember correctly, that has like good, this one, has good bar seating, and it's pretty large. It does have that raised bar, which I don't know if I'm a huge fan of, so I'm gonna keep looking and see if there's a better option, which there very well could be a better option, so let's just kind of keep looking. Oh, look, they have green cabinets. That's so fun. Is that an island? That's a good island. Is there a, pl is there a spot to put stools? Or is there like an overhanging lip to see if... There is no lip. So there, this one that I like about this one has a lip. And so you can put stools in there really nicely. So I think, oh, this one's really pretty. I can shrink that down too, but it has a stove in it, which kind of throws off my whole stove plan. You know, I could do one of these ones with the sink. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. I could do this one with a sink and then have, um, take this one away. Yeah, I like that idea better because I like that sink number one better. Okay. So, and it has a lip to... It has a lip that will allow for um, seating, and it's got waterfall cabinetry, which I love. Okay, I mean waterfall countertop. So I'm going to take this away, and I am going to duplicate this bad boy right here. Why they are a little bit different colored, I'm not sure. I'm going to play with that some more and try and figure it out to get it to be more like perfectly white to match the other ones. Not sure why those look a little bit gray. That will be something that I deal with in a minute. So. I'm just kind of showing you how to do a layout. Okay, so I've got my U-shaped kitchen. I have my island. I do want to change my colors, though, to kind of match the rest of my kitchen. I don't like that hardware, but you know what? We're, we're not going to worry about that right now. So this is a dark wood. It looks like I would like to change that to white, and then I'm going to change my countertop to the same green countertop as the rest of my kitchen, okay. And now I have that beautiful waterfall countertop. I don't know, maybe I'll have like a, my island will have a white countertop. <gasps> Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, what if I do a white countertop, like a really pretty white marble, and I change the color to like the green from the countertop as like the island. And now the cabinets are green. I did like a little switcheroo. The cabinets are green and the countertops are white and then these cabinets are white and the countertops are green. I kind of like that. I think it gives, a, it gives you stuff to break up too. Okay, so that's gonna be my kitchen layout and then I would add my upper cabinets in over here. So we're going to go into my upper cabinets. So kitchen, kitchen. Oh, those are going to be in your hanging cabinets. And I want the ones that match the rest of my um, cabinets because I feel like that is just easy to build that way. So I'm going to come over here and use my corner cabinets. And I'm going to move it to the wall. 
Again, don't worry about colors because you can change colors. It makes it amazing. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to go wallpaper white. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. It's just really boring. You know, like it's really, really boring. <laughs> the white cabinets. I could do two tone cabinets and I could make the top cabinets like the same green color. Let's see if I like that. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I can't decide. All right, so I'm going to keep adding in. I do think I want to put a window right here um, as like the, I think this will help break up the um, the diamond a little bit, like the, like the monotonous diamonds, because the diamonds is very bold, you know? So this way I can... And I can color this window pane. Let's see, black. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that's. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. But, okay. So then I'm going to take this cabinet and I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this cabinet and flip it. Okay. Now, I like my cabinets to reach the ceiling, personally, so I would have my cabinets go all the way to the top. I do think I need to center this window a little bit more in between them. I'm just attempt to. Okay, and then I'm going to take more cabinets and I'm going to complete the cabinets over on this side and above the fridge. And then I think I'm going to bring like a, maybe like an oven hood over here, but I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to pull that off with the space of the oven. So um, as of right now, that is the kitchen tutorial video that I'm going to show you. I will add to it as I go and I'll show you in the following video how it looks at the end. But that's how I build a kitchen and do my layout. I start with my lower cabinets first, and I go to the corners, and then I place my appliances, an island usually, and then I do my upper cabinets. Um, taking backsplashes and tiles for the and granite for the countertop is usually the hardest. That's what I'm struggling with right now. So will this stay the design? I'm not sure. I'm going to play around with it some more, and yeah, that's how you build a kitchen.